against a guy who last time we saw him got such a quick first round submission? Yeah, it felt great. You know, I came a long ways from home and uh, definitely came in here to win. And I, I didn't fly all this way to lose, so I'm super pumped. Uh, I got the finish done, uh, rear naked choke in one minute. Tried to beat my record in Chicago, 49 seconds, whatever it was, but oh well, one minute will do. So yeah, I'm pretty pumped. How was it being quite the bad guy, being the guy coming in here against? Against a British fighter on British soil, did you feel any different in this situation? No, I mean, if, if you look back at every single one of my pro fights, you know, I come, come from Hawaii, so every fight for me is enemy territory. So, you know, this was nothing new, but I was super excited, you know, being at my first international fight. Um, you know, the crowd was great. I, I love all the cheers, the boos, it doesn't matter. You know, it's just good energy, and I, I take it all in, so yeah, I'm, I'm super excited. How have you found the time in London? Oh, pretty, pretty good. I mean, I, I didn't get get around too much. It's been kind of cold and windy, and I've been cutting weight. But uh, I'm gonna save uh, all day tomorrow and go back home Monday. So hopefully, I get a little time to enjoy and check out the city. Um, we drove around a little bit. It's a beautiful city and you know, a lot of a lot of history. So it's it's pretty cool. And do you like? Uh, obviously, this is the first time you've had an international fight. But does that interest you in the future? Maybe go to different countries to compete? Uh, you know, that's why I kind of got into the sport in the beginning. You know, I wanna travel the world for free and go around to different countries and do what I love most, you know, and that's fighting. So, uh, yeah, I would definitely love entertaining you know, a fight elsewhere in a different country. You know? How do you manage to decompress? Because you're involved in the sport away from the cage as well, you know, working for a management company. So you're pretty much MMA all day, every day. So how do you, how do you step back from that and just decompress, especially after getting in the cage and fighting? It's all about balance, you know. You know, if you put too much into something, you can get overwhelmed. It doesn't matter. Even for you guys, for media, you know, you put too much work in, you, you guys are going to get burnt out and overwhelmed. So it's about having balance in life, and you can apply that to any aspect. So uh, I balance everything pretty, pretty good, I'd say. You know, I, I've had times, especially in my last fight, I was pretty overwhelmed. I didn't have that balance, and. Um, you know, I, I won there in Milwaukee in my last fight, but I was pretty burnt out at the time. And uh, But, you know, I went back, went back home to Hawaii, kind of grounded myself again and figured out what I needed to do. And that was find balance in my life, you know, whether it's fighting, managing, or, you know, being, being a husband. Uh, you need to have a, a solid balance in life to be successful at anything. There's three wins in a row for you now. What would Danny go the fight manager? What advice would you give to Danny Gay to try something? I think you keep Danny Gay active, you know. Uh, it, it, as long as I can stay healthy and keep fighting, I think we can do pretty well. Those long layoffs is what kind of gets you, you know. You start going, getting in your own head, you start going, kind of going crazy. You get that itch, but um, I, I'd love to stay active. I want to fight like every three months if I could. Um, I, I, I'd love to fight again, hopefully here in May or June. You know, wouldn't mind going back to Chicago, that'd be nice. Or, you know, it doesn't matter, it's party. Are you the call out type or are you just uh, give me anyone type? No, uh, I, I want to humbly work my way up the ladder. I want to fight anyone and everyone. And, uh, I want to earn my respect in this division. I don't want to talk my way to the top. I want to earn it and I will get there and I'll get to the top 15 this year. I will.